purposes, uh, is that easy to include in your uh, documents, even if you're not one, you just want to look at the packets. The support issue, uh, I thought basically there were these considerations. Do you have support built in in your law school? I'm told that some law schools have uh, support personnel that can help them draft the pages, basically draft everything for them, tell them, tell them what they want. Even at the University of Nebraska, there's some departments, not our law school, but some places where they have people there, and you just say, I want to jazz the web page, and I want to do this, and so you can get that accomplished. But if you're like me, and you basically have to do it yourself, then you think about the ease of the program and getting this accomplished. We do have at our school university support, but that means you have to look to people outside of the law school and work around their time parameters. And they, they may not think that the law school is the most important entity on the campus, even though we do. So sometimes you have to deal with that. Uh, the other place you might get support, of course, from the provider. Uh, many of the providers, even if you can't talk to them directly, will have websites that you can use uh, to get information. They're creating forums for users in various disciplines, including law, that you can use to interact with. One of the things I liked about TWIN when I used it was that the law professors have a law professor forum, and when you had problems, uh, yes, you could talk to somebody in Westlaw, but you could also talk to somebody uh, that was using TWIN in the law school environment and say, well, how do I load this graphic up? And usually somebody would apply that day, the next day. Uh, and so that was a very helpful uh, aspect of TWIN. So if you go to some of the other non-law related systems, proprietary systems, you might not have the same direct kind of feedback as it relates to the law. Uh, the other thing I thought about was at startup, what do you need to get started up? It's fairly easy to just go and click on a website to get started up, but you need somebody to sort of walk through it, uh, consider how easy it is to get it set up, and then once you get the site the way you want, uh, how easy it is to keep it that way and to make it a dynamic kind of site and want to change things. The cost, as I said, involves more than just dollar amounts, but you do need to think about whether your students are going to have to pay increased costs, whether you're going to need to buy other things 